I don't want to be a leader. I want to be a follower. Doesn't sound very noble, does it? What if I told you God doesn't want you to be a leader either? I mean, with the amount of leadership conferences and leadership books, it'd be almost impossible to imagine that that's not of utmost importance to God. It's funny, because when I search the Gospels, I cannot find one place where Jesus asks anyone to be a leader. In fact, he doesn't even consider himself a leader. He says, I don't do anything of my own accord. I just do what I see the Father in heaven do. So if that's the case, then there's only one leader, and we're all followers. I think the reason we consider Jesus a great leader is because he was the servant of all. I don't know about you, but when I frame it that way, suddenly the pressure comes off my shoulders and I feel like I can finally breathe. I've been thinking about this verse for a long time, Ephesians 2.10. We are God's workmanship. His poema is the Greek word, his poem. Created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which he has prepared in advance for us to do, that we might walk in them. What if we just have to focus on saying yes to the opportunities that he has created for us every day? Maybe leadership can never be sought for leadership itself, but it must always be the byproduct of being a great follower. Whatever your occupation, we can all pray this prayer. You're changing my heart to want what you want, to love how you love, and that is enough. There's no greater plan that I need to know. You only ask me to follow want what you want.